so today's May 29th, 2024, and I'm at King's Dominion. Uh, I'm not gonna release this video probably until maybe Friday, but the crane is here, baby. The crane is here. So, yeah. You know what that means. Adina has arrived, and uh, that means it's time for track. So, I just want to get this clip really quick. Um, and then uh, I'm going to probably try to head in the park for a little bit, maybe get a couple rides, but they are here now. Adina has arrived. What's going on, guys? Andrew here. Welcome back to Around the Track. This is where we talk about all the hot and new things going on within the coast community. The wait is finally over. Kings Dominion has finally gotten its first piece of track. And literally, I mean, it's first piece of track. Like, we haven't seen any other piece of track besides the one that's at the b and warehouse right now. What me and a couple others were wondering is if they're actually hiding the pieces of track inside the container and they're getting it out that way. Maybe that could be why they have, like, the forklift there. Or are they actually going to be shipping it off a of flatbed i do think some pieces are going to have to be through a flatbed some of the more flatter pieces like this one on for the transfer track i think this may be coming from the container because there was nothing else there there was no truck that arrived like it just was inside the container so that leads me to believe that this was this isn't the only piece that was in there for sure another thing we saw was the crane uh, I don't know how high that one can get up to. It looks like it can probably get about maybe 100 or so feet. It doesn't look like a super huge crane, but it looks pretty big enough. The other thing, the only other thing that I noticed in that fencing lot area were some gray pieces. You'll have to let me know in the comment section below what those are. I personally don't know myself. I would have to actually look into it a little bit more. I can't really tell what they are from the picture, but if someone else who's in construction or maybe engineering or something may know, just let me know in the comment section below. Like I said in like the previous video, Adina arrived uh, May 28th, 2024. And then I went there on the 29th, which was a uh, Wednesday and then Thursday, which was yesterday. That's when I took the pictures of the track and everything. That's when that showed up. As far as the track color, I'm really glad that it is not that dirty brown or dirt brown, whatever color brown, I am over the brown colored track i'm done with it you know it, it had its little run i don't know why cedar fair wanted to give like every park that brown color don't get me wrong it's not a bad color but it was getting old think about it steel vengeance twisted timbers railblazer and iron menace all had that weird brown color and i think even the sto the soapbox racers at king's island has that brown color it's like what the world is going on i am so happy they went with green i really wanted them to go with honestly blue it would have been really cool if they went with blue or maybe red and then paint intimidator like a uh, black or something that would have been really dope the last piece of the puzzle really is the name in other news though jungle expedition they finally have started teasing in that area now there were a couple little spray paint markings kind of like bamboo on the fencing which were uh, blue and orange and yellow this is a new bamboo themed light that they're adding to the uh, jungle expedition area they look really good like they actually look like pieces of bamboo they did a great job then i saw this sign by the coke refresh station that's uh in jungle expedition that one said attention explorers dr lethos professor of linguistics obviously this has to do with some part of the theme of the coaster and i don't know if these other posters were already here or not they just never caught my eye and honestly until now but maybe they were already here like the diamonds fall one and the dunes cavern next three images are actually just on the wall of uh excavators taters is literally rolling the side of the wall so they had a bird they also had a snake which was pretty much probably anaconda and then they had the panther if you didn't know this has been here for honestly a hot minute now but I'm just now taking a picture of it for you guys. But this is the Panther that more than likely is what the Intimidator or Project 305 theme is going to be for. I actually always ride Reptilian now just so I can see the progress from an aerial perspective. But just to tell you all what I saw, uh, again, a lot of footers have been poured. They've got a lot of areas where they're about to pour footers. They're just really waiting for the water to kind of dry up. Uh, that way they can actually, they may have to honestly pump out some of the water because if it keeps raining like that, it's going to delay them. So I imagine they're probably going to have to pump out that water sooner or later. Now that, that first piece of track has showed up, I can guarantee you uh, progress is about to start moving a little more rapidly. So I'm very excited to be doing these updates for you all. Let me know if you notice anything else in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and uh, until next time, peace out.